everybody in Nork appreciate what we have in Nork. Like to appreciate Nork, appreciate the different type of talents, the history, the background of Nork, appreciate what's going on now. Like bringing art involved in all of Nork really makes a big change for it because it makes it a good place for people just to even pass by and just see it. Like you can just see it and you like the place, you feel me? And I, I think that every building in Nork should have another painting. Like every building should have something. It brings out character and it shows the people that are in Nork, the people that live in Nork. Like how, what they feel, what they see, and I mean, how beautiful this world is to them. People walk past every day and they be inspired. Cause they like, wow, like they didn't go to art school. You know, they didn't, they just some kids from North that's painting a wall. And they, they're just inspired. They're just amazed that people from North actually do things like that. So I think the murals is just to give North more life, more color. So people could come from other places and see North, you know, see some good things in North instead of always hearing about the bad. So this is kind of like an initiative to beautify those walls and at the same time kind of drum up the, uh, the need, you know, for public art. It also helps, of course, to employ local artists uh, and to give the youth the opportunity to become involved in making their community a better place and experiencing something they probably haven't experienced before, that being, you know, a thing like painting a mural. And indeed, a lot of the kids I had this was their first time experience even picking up a paintbrush. Well, I guess, you know, we think there's a wonderful opportunity for the city of Newark. Uh, we think that this will uh, serve several uh, goals all at once, helping bring youth into the creative economy, helping to beautify the city, helping to create neighborhood pride, um, and just helping to show the world what a wonderful place the city of Newark is to live and work. So Ben and I started to do the research. I contacted Philadelphia um, and their mural program, and Ben and I collaborated, and he wrote a proposal in what this whole mural program would look like. I'm really interested in getting Newark students involved in art um, in a way to see life differently, and in a way to think differently, um, and in a way of really to discipline themselves. I know I've seen the children, uh, some of them change based on working on the mural. So like, what is this? What are we doing? When are we gonna paint? And then eventually the painting started and that whole process to, to envision something, then actually start to work on it and then for it to come to fruition to this final piece. One of the young men said to me, yeah, this is my work. For us participating, we met a whole bunch of people. Like we met a whole bunch of teenagers our age that we ain't never think we'll be able to cooperate with to make something so pretty. The experience of like paint, like I ain't never think I could paint or draw or do anything and Mr. Kevin taught us like is don't look at the picture as a picture, just think of it as lines. That helped me grow like thinking I could actually draw now. Kevin is a nice person but he made it so like where even if you had doubts, he made you feel like you can do it because I started, when I first started the program, I couldn't do the um, drawing exercises and sketches. As I started working more and more, I started being able to see that my drawings was coming through. They started looking like something. And he made you feel like even though it's, you can't do it, you still can because you just have to think you could. He like inspired people like to do it. stuff out of it because if they did, then they will want to come back and be a part, like finish the job to say, oh, I did, I finished it. It's in the city of Newark, that's where they live, you know? Just be a part, just to be a part of something in the city of Newark is like, you making a change. I think it's very good for Newark. I, I think it's very good as far as the way it was done by working with young people, working with the Newark artist, and working with the community. And I think it's very, as I say, I think it's very excellent for the neighborhood and for the people of Newark. They don't have to go out of their neighborhood to see a good piece of art. What we're trying to do is try to have a sustainable program. This year was our first year that we started the Youth Mural Summer Program. What we plan on doing is to have it next year, but after next year to try to sustain it through the, the school curriculum as well, to try to have them going and taking um, classes as well. So we want this to be sustainable for the youth of Newark so they have this mural background that they never saw fit before. You know, and it was kind of nice that See Without Walls and uh, Rutgers got to partner with this, this cause. Like I said, it belongs to them. It's an extension of them. They've worked on 
the process of finding out what the, the theme of the mural is going to be. They've been engaged in that process. It's just like the birth, I guess, of a baby. From the beginning, they've been there, you know, and for most of them, this is their second mural. So they have an involvement. They saw the completion of the first one, and now they're dedicated to getting the second piece completed. Not only do they have ownership, but they have a relationship with the lead teaching artist. And they've created that from in their minds to being on paper to now being up on the wall. So I think they have a connection that it is theirs. This is a way that public art in Newark is starting to um, become prominent and ongoing. It's not just a one-shot deal. So we started with the, the first two murals, Kevin and I. Uh, they're already making another five and next uh, year they're gonna make, I don't know, five, ten. It's a program that's, that's gonna last, not just currently with bringing new kids in, making new murals, but the whole idea of, of murals, it's, uh, it's a more permanent thing. It's something in the landscape that's gonna last year after year. This mural's gonna be up for, you know, however long the paint takes to flake off. And that's something that as they grow up, and they're from Newark, so they're you know, always gonna have ties here. Um, they're always going to be able to drive by it, walk by it, and, and you know, be proud of it. You know, they, they were integral to, to making this thing. It helped me grow a lot, you know. I got a lot, I could get a lot of memories from this. Um, people could get a lot of memories from this, just walking past, looking at it, and 25 years later, it could last. You know, I could bring my mother, like if I had kids, I could bring my kids down there and show them. And they could be like, wow, daddy, you really did this? And I'd be like, yeah. I'd like, see they got my name right there. And that'd be a, a wonderful memory for me right there. And it'd be a, one, a wonderful memory for other people just walking past and be like, wow, you could look at this and notice that Newark could never be this wonderful or never this beautiful. And I never thought that that would happen until I did this. Well, actually, I think it was fun. Like, this whole summer experience is fun. I think they should continue this project so everybody has experienced what we experienced. Like, meeting new people, being able to put your ideas on a wall, showing your creativity. This is something that's going to be around for years, something that our kids are going to see. They definitely want to be around it. I mean, enjoy the moment, you feel me? Once it's happening, everybody wants to get it done. Everybody wants to be remembered for something. So why not get remembered by something in your own time? Mm -hmm.